start by talking about the surface area of rectangular prisms. But before we do that, let's just go over what surface area is. So if you look at any solid, so I have a cube here, or my rectangular prism, that the surface area is telling me the area of the actual surface of that prism, okay, or the cylinder, or the pyramid, whatever shape you have, that solid, how much would it take to cover that? So think of wrapping paper or painting it, okay? We're just looking at the outside. So first we're going to look at a rectangular prism. So that would be this, okay? Now, we made some nets of rectangular prisms. So where you traced on the outside, and then when you unfold it, it looks like this. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six faces of a rectangular prism, and they were all rectangles. When you look at that rectangle, rectangular prism, you usually call this the front, you have the back, and those are congruent rectangles. They're the same. The left and the right side are the same. Okay, they're also congruent rectangles. Mine happen to be squares. You also have the top and the bottom, which are congruent to each other as well. So when we find surface area, we want to find the surface area of every face of our solid. What helps with rectangular prisms is that if I find the area of the front, that's also the area of the back, okay? So let's look at one. So these are actually the dimensions of this rectangular prism. So if you want to, you can draw out your net, or I like to write down what my faces are and what the pairs are, okay? Let me change my pen color here because I have it on pink. So we have the front and the back, we have the top and the bottom, and we have the side and the side. Now we said each of these are rectangles. So for a rectangle, our area is going to be the length times the width, or the base times the height. So if I look at my front, okay, its dimensions are 7 by 14. So the area of the front will be 7 times 14, which is 98. So my front is 98 square centimeters because it's area, so it's squared. For my top and my bottom, if I just look at my top, I need to know this side, which would be the same as here. These are all the same. So this is going to be 7 by 14, okay? If you need to, go through here and say, well, this is 14, so this side's going to be 14, this side's going to be 14, this is 7, so this is 7, this is 7, and then I have 7, I have a lot of 7s, 7 and 7. Okay, go through and label all that if you need to. So then now if I'm looking at my top, I can really easily see that it's 7 by 14. So, oh, really easy calculation there because I just did it up there. So it's 98 square centimeters. So now looking at my side, one of my sides is going to be 7 by 7, okay? So that will give me 49 square centimeters. Now, here's what you've got to remember. This was the area of just my front. The back is going to be the same thing. So now I want to go through and multiply each of these by 2. Because this is just my front, multiplying it by 2 will give me the area of my front and my back. This was just the top, multiplying it by 2 will give me the area of the top and the bottom. 49 was one side, multiplying by 2 will give me the area of both sides. So 98 times 2, I should be able to do it in my head, but just to check. 98 times 2 is 196 square centimeters. I'm running out of room. This is 196 square centimeters as well. 
and then 49 times 2 is 98 square centimeters because again it's all area so it's all just square units. Now to find the total surface area of this rectangular prism I need to go through and add these numbers together because that would give me the area of the top and the bottom the, sorry the front and the back the top and the bottom and the two sides okay for all six of those faces it would be so if I add all those up you would get 490 okay now one of the reference sheets that I give you has a formula for the surface area of a rectangle. If you can memorize formulas, great, memorize it. That what it is is 2 times the length times the width, 2 times the width times the height, plus 2 times the width plus times length times the height. Okay? Let me write it down. 2 length width plus 2 length height plus 2 width height. So really, if this is my length, width, and height, my length times my width were my top and my bottom. The length times the height were my front and my back. The width times the height were my two sides. And then multiplying by two was getting both of those, okay? And then adding it all together is what we did at the end. So if you can remember this, memorize the formula and plug in your length, width, and height. If you're not good at remembering formulas, then just go through and think, okay, I need to find my top, my front and my back, my top and my bottom, that go through and look at the sides, okay? Now, let's look at a cube. I want you to try to do this one on your own. But let's think, what's special about a cube? It's still a rectangular prism, it's just that this time, all six of my faces are congruent. So as long as I find the area of one of them, I know the area of each of the six faces. So my front is going to be 7 times 7, whoops, which would give me 49 square centimeters. Okay, then that's the area of one of the faces. I have six of those. So I need to take 49 times 6, and you get 294 square centimeters. So going back to my cube, okay, my net, I found the area of one of these squares. They're all congruent. There's six of them, so I just multiply it by 6.